Good morning, Commissioners. My name is Dennis Edwards. I am a um, president of Paraline. Um, I will try to be brief. Those of you who know me probably don't believe that. Um, <laughs> I want to make a couple points very quickly. Those who know me know I try to deal in facts. Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador are experiencing the lowest violence levels in years. That's a fact. Oh. When was the last time you heard anything on the news about all this outrageous violence in Honduras, Guatemala, or El Salvador? Okay, this narrative that we're hearing about these poor, innocent children coming across the border, even Rick Perry said himself that very few of them are actually minor children. Most of them are between the ages of 14 and 18, and many of them are, as was just pointed out, members of MS-13 gangs. They're coming in here, they're coming in here to infiltrate our schools, to get the recruits for their gangs, and to bring drugs to our children. We have to stop this, okay? Um, the other thing is truth. Nobody in this room really knows what the truth is. Our government, who came into power, this administration, promising to us the most open and transparent in history, has been anything but. Our congressmen, our senators, our state representatives, our state senators are not being given the information they're asking for. They're not being given access. Why is that? These, this narrative is, that it's about the children is simply a false narrative. I have as much compassion and sympathy for children as anybody. But we have children, American children in this country, that are going hungry every That's night. That's right. We have children dying waiting for help here. When this president went in office, we were a little over $10 trillion in debt. Before he's out of office, he will have doubled it. We will be $20 trillion in debt. It's unsustainable. The other thing, point I wanted to make real quick is that it is about the disease. It's about the crime, and it's about the terrorists that are being allowed. Are we going to let this into our schools? North Carolina just sent out a letter the other day that they had to send because of bacterial TB. And I'll leave you with this. I ask for you to exhibit the courage, and I'll leave you with Ronald Reagan's quote. There are no easy answers, but there are some speakers and not others. There are simple answers. Please have the courage. Sorry. Okay.